Well guys, we're back here with another review, and today we have a review here of the uh, Soft Soap, Lavender, and Kama- I don't know how to pronounce that. Chamomile? Chamomile? Hand soap? So yeah, we're reviewing some hand soap, guys. I know, this is quite random, but you know what? I, I wanted to review this hand soap because it's the, it's the hand soap I've been using since the beginning of the school year, and it's really served this purpose well. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of this in case you've been in the market for some hand soap. I don't know what you're looking for. It's about 11.25 fluid ounces, which is about 332 milliliters. If maybe you're looking for a particular size, now you have the uh, size dimensions there for you. Um, taking a look at the back here, um, obviously it's made by Colgate, which is interesting. I didn't think Colgate produced uh, soap. I knew they made a, uh, you know, they made toothpaste, but I guess they're a parent company of this brand as well, uh, Soft Soap. So yeah, just in case you didn't know that, it's there. So remember, remember guys, there's, there's a difference between hand soap and Purell. I know in the past couple of years, the Purell market has exploded, right? It's basically this type of like stuff that kills 99.99% of the bacteria on your skin, on your hands. And the cool thing is you don't have to rinse it off. It kind of just dissolves in your hand. So it's a billion dollar concept and for and for good reason. It provides a lot of innovation in, in the marketplace for a brand here, for not brand, but a type of product that hasn't really seen in any innovation in hundreds of years so Purell does something very cool I do have concerns with Purell and it's the reason why I don't use it on a daily basis while it kills other bad bacteria it also does in fact kill good bacteria on your hands too so it can actually be counterproductive in the long term so I prefer using hand soap as much as possible obviously if I'm touching something really disgusting like I don't know some like really disgusting shit like, I, I don't know what that's gonna be but I would use Purell and then probably use this after. So they both definitely have their purposes. And I, if you like Purell, that's fine by me. But I prefer uh, hand soap. So th it has a purple hue to it. Um, I like the color. I mean, it's purple. I mean, I like it. It's partially uh, transluent, if you know what I'm saying. You can kind of see my hand here. It's not 100%, but it's about uh, partial uh, transluent there. So it wasn't, it wasn't too expensive. I don't know, five or six bucks on Amazon. or Yeah, so I'll have an Amazon link down below if you want to get that. Come, there's a lot of different ingredients in this, and I don't know what each of them would do. And we have so sodium, propylene, benzoyl, gly glycerol, rectutita. So there's a lot of different ingredients in here. I'll show you exactly what I'm looking at here, and I can't give you a clear answer what different differentiates each each other ingredient, but they're there and they're there for you to help you. I'm guessing, right? Obviously, not there to uh, hurt you. So when you first buy this thing, it's gonna be locked. It's gonna be a uh, like down here, basically, it's pretend, pretend I'm squeezing like this, right? It's gonna be stuck like this. You're gonna have to spin it, and then it should pop up. So you spin it about 180 degrees, and it should pop up to the uh, correct uh, dimension there. So here's a look at it. It actually looks kind of clear. It looks kind of uh, soapy here, which obviously it's soap, so it makes sense. It it does it. It's not really purple. You can't really tell it's purple when you have it in your hands like this. So yeah, the purple kind of disappears once you put it on your hands here. This. It looks like just no more hand soap to me once it's on your hands. So I don't know if that's like an illusion or something, or it's actually uh, purple. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly uh, how that works, but yeah. So it does remind me of something else, but not even gonna worry about that. Obviously, you guys hopefully know what I'm talking about, but it does kind of remind me of that um, substance. So yeah. I mean, guys, I mean, not much more I had to say. I mean, there's, I know there's many brands out there when it comes to soap. And, you know, this is the one I've been using. There's a QR code on the back so you can scan and all that stuff. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what else to say about this. It's, they, have, they have a variety of different uh, colors, too, and different... Uh, these lavender, these are, these, are, these are smells. I guess they could be called, called spices, I guess. Lavender could be used as a spice. So there's a variety of different smells and spices you can choose from and different colors as well. So make sure you choose the one that uh, best fits uh, you. And I, I like this one. I like the lavender one. It smells good and it feels good on the hands. So overall, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you do want to purchase some hand soap, Amazon link will be down below. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. And if you want to support me, Ethereum. Donation link will be down below. You can send me any Ethereum token. There's hundreds and even thousands of different Ethereum tokens out there. Or you use my uh, Binance referral link. Both things help me out. Really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Thank you and bye.